What's up guys? Uh, before I start the video today, I'm gonna ask y'all to do a few things for me. Uh, make sure to click the subscribe button, click the like button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell. Definitely helps out. Make sure that you stay up to date with my videos. Um, it's been a long time since I've uh, made any videos. Definitely taking a different approach at life. I have, I'm a full-time college student, I'm a part-time worker, and, uh, you know, I'm very happy and fortunate with where my life is heading right now. Honestly, I'm just working hard right now at my young age, just trying to make sure that I find uh, stability in the long run. And honestly, um, I've been uh, just paying attention to my mental health and paying attention to my personal finances. And honestly, like, I feel like this is the prime time to be paying attention into your spending habits. One of my favorite YouTubers, Graham Stephan, uh, I've been watching him forever. And honestly, just now when I'm 21, I'm finally taking the first step into, you know, creating a budget and just watching my spendings and everything. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk about uh, how much I spend in a week and also uh, mental health, you know, how it is being a full-time college student and sometimes working full-time, sometimes working part-time and just, you know, getting an insight on that. Yeah, I'm 21. I live in Texas. Yeah, I'm very outgoing. I like anime. I like uh, music. I've been really into personal finances and just wanting to get into um, how to save money. So being an independent college student, definitely have more responsibilities than the average, uh, you know, teenager or adult. Basically, uh, I pay my own car insurance, uh, I pay my own phone bill, I pay anything, my credit cards. Uh, I recently got a credit card uh, about a few months ago, and it's it's been going great. I started with zero credit, then um, 18, I got my, my first uh, phone account, bill account. So started off with 500 credit, and now I'm at 662, I believe. It hasn't grown as much as I've wanted it to but only because of me being uh, financially independent and just taking my time. So I don't really have that much time and freedom to kind of uh, look around and see what finances or anything I can um, build my credit. As far as so credit card, I have a $300 limit. I know it's not, uh, you know, $1,000 or $500. Um, but I'm aiming to get a higher credit limit. Uh, I can't lie. When I first got my credit card, the first thing I did was withdraw money. And I withdrew $50 out of the $300 limit. And all these little interest fees and, and all this um, unnecessary um, situation. Uh, uh, being jobless. But I came back and um, I paid half of it off. And... Uh, there was 150 left. My first month passed by having the credit card, so obviously I did have to pay interest off. And then um, first check came from my new job and I paid my credit card off. Definitely a good feeling. Um, obviously credit won't um, increase, your credit score won't increase unless you stay constant and you know you keep using that credit card and you keep paying it on time. I wasn't really too responsible at first, but now uh, I basically, I use my credit card for bills as far as insurance, car insurance. I use that under my credit card. And at the end of the month, uh, before the due date, I pay off my credit card. And slowly but surely, I'll, I'll increase my uh, credit limit and also my credit score. So back to square one. So Friday, I got paid. First thing, obviously, taking care of my expenses, which is um, bills. <laughs> First thing I did was pay off my credit card. I paid half of it off. Obviously, I still have a, a, a about three weeks left. So when I get my next check, I just pay it off completely and everything's fine. You know, credit card debt is happened to a lot of family members of mine. So I stay open and aware and make sure that everything is uh, very well maintained. Okay, so Friday, I start off the day. Um, I went to Ikea with my friends, I know. It was an investment for me, I needed a new desk. Um, it was like the last, it was a cherry on top to finishing my room. And that came out to 164.48 after tax. I got a really beautiful desk and it was named after me, 
Alex, of course. Took me forever to build it. I'm gonna try to look for some B-roll. Started at 8 p.m. <laughs> and I didn't finish till 11 p.m. Pretty much the major um, purchase that I made on the day of my check. Okay, so. And that dropped me down to 577.75. Next stop, uh, we wanted to go explore. I was with my friends and we went to H Mart. H Mart is a store where they sell uh, Japanese foods, um, anything that you can think of, Korean, uh, yeah, all this type of things. And I just decided to buy some mochi. Mochi is a little squishy little, uh, I'll edit a picture on there so you can see it right now. Um, yeah, it's very delicious. Um, it was $3.49 and that was the end of my spending for Friday. Saturday. So Saturday, I ended up spending $66.56 on groceries. I've been trying to cut off on my spending. Usually I'll spend $66 in three days. So definitely was an investment there. I'm still eating off of that food now and it's Thursday. So investment, yes. Breakfast stuff, iced coffee, you know, just trying to cut off on all the spending and going to iced coffee at McDonald's or my job where there's Starbucks. So after having a desk on Saturday, I was like, ah, I want some, you know, mini room decor things. And uh, I spent $5.95 at Dollar General for a waterfall roomy thingy uh, i'll answer a picture again uh yeah and uh it was five dollars just wanted something peaceful unfortunately it's not too peaceful it sounds horrible yeah i'm just gonna have it there for decoration <laughs> next purchase was at just the main importance of checking your bank statements I just realized that there was a charge on my card to BMW Houston. I don't even own a BMW. I own a Honda Civic. No shame there. Full-time college student, part-time worker. Barely can make it through, but we getting through. Next purchase, obviously, uh, on set. Uh, next purchase on Sunday, I put gas, which was $20. On Monday, we drew $20. Okay, long story short, Sunday, when I went to Walmart again, this is not a money spent, but I used my piggy bank. I went to Walmart, I got like $30 in my piggy bank, coins, everything. Um, so I used $25 of that and I took $20 out of my account to buy this thingy right here. I know some people say bad investment, but uh, I definitely needed something to listen to music and just enjoy my time while I'm alone. Yeah, I mean, it retails like $80, so definitely got a good deal just buying a new off of a second hand person. So Tuesday, I spent $21.16 at Target, my job. Tuesday, I spent um, I withdrew another $20 to buy this. This is a Razer mouse pad LEDs. It's definitely pretty cool. It lights up all around. Can't really see it from that angle. Sorry, guys. It just complements my mouse. This is a little cheap mouse, but it works. And if it works, it don't hurt. <laughs> that same day was a Tuesday. Uh, I took my brother out. He just he just got back from the country from the side of the world. That was forty. Nope, lied. Twenty ninety six. And yeah, uh, yesterday I spent twenty three eighty four, twenty dollars in gas and three eighty four on snacks. And yeah, and now we are in Thursday. And uh, yeah, um, no spending. Just home, enjoying my peace, and yeah, that's really about it.
Hey guys, so if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching and uh, I'll definitely be posting more content. It was really fun to talk about my spending habits and just trying to budget out now and also talking about mental health and everything. And um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching and have a good day. <laughs>